ready to go and they're off and a beautiful start to the last on the program and matter of honor splitting the field in the early part went through and led Keppel away with him on the outside just behind them settling down nearly a length away is future perfect and they've broken about three lengths in front of city shiny abnick getting a good cart into it at the outside one to the well-tried mastic followed by slipstream a length further back ken javel as they make that turn at the 800 meters rustic mist is around him crimson pilot panoramic lad well back with confederate kid and kennett they're burning and up the side matter of honor in front narrowly future perfect keeping him honest and they're five links in front of keffel and the abnick giving chase two to mastic running on and so is slipstream from city shy rustic mist panoramic lad with a run round the outside and ken javel battling next and then came kennett matter of honor shut off shook off future perfect but the abnick is coming home well and so is keffel rustic mist for the run around the outside matter of honor coming back to them the abnick closing with rustic mist and mastic and then Keffel, Matter of Honor being tackled by Niabnik, Mastic and Rustic miss four out, they're across the track Mastic lifting for Oliver in the centre, grabbed the lead from Niabnik and Mastic beat Niabnik at a photo finish, close third, Matter of Honor over on the inside or Rustic missed, Ken Chevelle making ground when it was over, from Keffel, Confederate Kid and then there's a break back behind these to Panoramic Lad Slipstream is next, followed then uh, by Future Perfect back there with City Shy, Crimson Pilot and Kennett. Stalls back racing. Came away in a fair line too after the start. Edging out was getting back with Embraceable You and also a Genio. Omens bounced straight to the front here and led out from Grand Jura going up second from Flying Visit. Then Balbina followed by De Canny around Vignor. Mr. Gallon Tantat star edging out for the back in the race of Genio and Embraceable You last of all. Omens had the lead on the first quarter and she strode out nearly two lengths in front of Grand Jura and Flying Visit a half away third. A length into Canny going up fourth. Balbina fifth, two for the back Vignor. They're followed by edging out over on the inside, then Mr. Gal. Tantat star outside into the thousand, three for the back. Would have been Argenio and two last of all, Embraceable You. Strung out down the back and Omens on top. Nearly a length in front now from Grand Jura. A length for the back, third the fence. Would have been flying visit, one to Canny running fourth. A length and a half, Albina. Then you're the centre and are moving up on the outside. Now is edging out, pulling out deep. Being tailed up by Tantat star from Mr. Gal. Argenio and two, Embraceable You. Coming down the side of the 600 metre mark. Omens by three quarters. On the outside, Grand Jura. They're followed by edging out. He's gone up third. The inside was flying visit, followed by De Canny. Then you're starting to wind up from Tantat Star. Further back, Argenio out deep. Then Balbina, Embraceable You. And Mr. Gal, last of all. Omens the leader on the turn of the 300. And she slipped away a length and a half in front from Grand Jura. Edging out and further back, flying visit to Canny. Vignor's a fair way off, but Omens at the 180 metre mark. She's three lengths in front from edging out. Followed on the inside by Grand Jura. He gives her a crack with a web, Omens. She finds enough, and Omens is going to get home. Omens a length and three quarters, edging out ahead third is Grand Jura. Then Embraceable You has run fourth from De Canny. Then Vignor from flying visit Balbina. A gap then to Argenio and the last two, Tantat Star and Mr. Gal. Number five, Omens to return 360, 163, edging out $5.40 and four for third Grand Jura, $1.80. Number five, Omens, all the way here for Gauchi. Too good. Number three, second, edging out. And Grand Jura, number four, third, five, three and four. Five, three and four. Number 10 is officially fourth, and that's Embraceable You, 5, 3, 4, and 10. And the winner, 5 Omens, Darren Gauchi. 360 a win, 160 a place, 3 edging out, 540, 4 Grand Jura, $1.80. The Quinella, 45.70, exact is $70.60. Trifecta, 5, 3, and 4, $237.90. And the first four, 5, 3, 4, and 10, is $2,634.10.
Race number five at Mooney Valley at 205. One Dandify opens 490. Equal favourite with two, it's Platonic 493. Hula Wonder 17 for Damien Oliver. Four Sorrento 680. Five Umaline 680. Six Andrella 23. Seven Figure on 30. Eight La Bella Dama 35. Nine Nova Claws 790. Ten Mrs. Bentley 22. Eleven Rain Dance Lady 21. Twelve Regal Touch 118. Thirteen Spice Doll 32. Fourteen Oregon Seal for Craig Williams 30. $4, 15 super sequel 42 16 17 18 scratch selection to two a special from 7 3 and 1 coming up next urban Racing. It's Platonic may have missed it about three quarters of a length and figure on bounce quickly with Mrs. Bentley and Dan Defy. Out wide here, La Bella Dama is going fast and Super Sequel from a wide gate is whipping across Spice Doll. Pushing forward in the middle, Super Sequel from the outside gets over. And on the first turn, Super Sequel took it up from Figueroa. Well, Bella Dama's gone up third and Spice Doll fourth, followed by Umaline. Mrs. Bentley and further back then came Andrella out deep. Then Dan Defy outside, it's Platonic, the favourites racing together. A length and a half, Eula Wonder followed by Nova Claus. Regal touch the inside from Sorrento and Oregon Seal last of all. At the thousand, the leader Super Sequel, a length and a half, La Bella Dama second, two for the back, figure on third, about the length and a half for the back then, goes Andrella up to fourth, outside Umaline, Spice Doll the middle, a length Mrs. Bentley, it's Platonic the inside, one and a half then to Dandify Hula Wonder outside, it followed by Regal Touch and two lengths Sorrento uh, with Oregon Seal and back on the inside of those would have been Nova Claus, they're coming to the 700 metre mark and it's super sequel a length in front, La Bella Dama second and neck the outside, figure on, two to Umaline, followed on the inside by it's Platonic she's working home quickly, she's gone up fourth a length for the back that Andrella Eula Wonder Spice Doll Dandify has got a mile back from Regal Touch up before the turn La Bella Dama going up to Super Sequel then figure on trying to get out as it's Platonic behind them a gap to Umaline now she's out it's Platonic on the turn La Bella Dama has gone up to Super Sequel a length for the back here comes it's Platonic out in the middle La Bella Dama reached the lead it's Platonic starting to wear it down on the outside La Bella Dama ahead in front it's Platonic ranging up on the outside La Bella Dama hangs on La Bella Dama La Bella Dama and knows it's platonic. Two away third, Oregon Seal from well back from Super Sequel. Regal touch from Spice Doll. Behind those, figure on, followed by Dan Defy, then Sorrento. Nova Claus, well back, Mrs. Bentley, Yuma Line. Eula Wonder and Andrella is near the tail. Number eight, La Bella Dama, $39 the win, eight ninety the place. Number two, it's platonic, $1.80. 14, Oregon Seal, $6.10. And a double for Darren Gauchy. On for Darren Gauchy. To get home from number two is Platonic, Greg Charles. And the third number goes to 14, and that is Oregon Seal, written by Craig Williams. 8, 2 and 14. 8, 2, 14 to race number five. 8, 2 and 14. Just in, she's one and a half head, La Bella Dama racing outside, Super Sweekle. It's Platonic, was able to push out on the turn, get into the running. And out after the winner she went, she uh, started to slowly but surely gather the winner up. Now she, uh, there, there's the margin now, it's a half head. And there's the warning siren, so we'll just stand by here. Warning siren here at Moody Valley, so we'll just stand by. It's 8214 over the line, 8214. Uh, so we'll just find out what the problem is here. Just watching them come up the straight. Uh, yes, Dean? Yeah, they're going to uh, have a look at the start, Brian, with regard to Rain Dance Lady. Ah, uh, Rain Dance Lady. Okay. okay. Yeah, she, um, she... Let's have a look here. She hasn't, uh, she hasn't completed the course. She hasn't gone around, obviously. I don't think she came out, no, yeah. I, obviously, she hasn't. Can you? We'll uh, just grab Ian Lewis here from the uh, Rogerson Stable, Brian. Yep, okay, good. Ian, uh, one runner for the day, La Bella Dama, and got the prize. Yeah, very nice, mate, very nice. Um, worked here on Tuesday morning, worked terrific. Uh, gave her a real chance. Couch, great ride. Yeah, fabulous. What was uh, the problem in the Canberra Cup? She finished well down the line there. Just a hard ground, I think. Just didn't really finish it off. It's been in Melbourne three weeks and just thrived. Well, it's been a good result for the stable. One for one. Congratulations. Thanks, Dean. Tuck. Well, hold on all tickets, Moody Valley. Uh, the team for the Moody Valley.
Racing came out in a good line. Out wide here. One of the first out was Perlific Magneto and Friends of Rom. Native Jazz began OK with Spirit of Respiry and getting up on the inside when they settle into Stride Hills. And right up on the rail goes Prince Standard. Prince Standard has gone through with Friends of Rom. They had the lead. Native Jazz is very prominent and wide. Third early around Magneto. Hills on the inside from Perlific Spirit of Westbury Matriculate. A length and a half to two for the back Yippee-I-O from Rum. Then Big Hustler followed by Patfoot, Charlie, Rain, Gage, Desktop, Lover and Big Pat. Into the straight they race now with about 1,900 to go and Prince Standard has the lead coming down the straight with a lap to go. Nearly a length, Friends of Rum. A native jazz has caught three deep. You'll probably have to push forward up outside the lead with a lap to go. Wills is fourth on the inside of Magneto. Perlific is three deep around Spirit of Westbury. Matriculate the inside a length and a half to Yippee-I-O together with Rum. Two to Patfoot, Charlie, Big Hustler a length, Rain Gage, desktop lover. Big Pat last of all, 1,600 to go. And the leader going down the side is Prince Standard, nearly a length in front from Native Jazz and Polific Court deep on the outside now going forward. It goes up to second, Polific, Native Jazz third. Over on the inside, Hills fourth, a length and a half, Friends of Rum. Then Matriculate inside, McNeedo, two to Spirit of Westbury. Then came Rum a little deep, a length and a half to Yippee-I-O from Big Hustler. Patfoot Charlie, the fence, one further back, then Rain Gage. He's third last at the moment from Desktop Lover. Rain Gage improving now, and last of all, Big Pat. Into the back straight, they race towards a thousand. Prince Standard in front, three quarters to Perlific, a length and a half Hills. Native Jazz is fourth, one off the fence, and then Magneto. Over on the inside, Matriculate from Friends of Rom. Then came Rum, who's out a little wide around Spirit of Westbury. Rain Gage has gone up on the outside now of Yippee-I-O. They're three and four wide. On the fence, Pat Foot Charlie, big hustler the middle. A length, big Pat. And on the outside, desktop lover. 700 to go. Coming down the side, Prince Standard being tackled by the grey Magneto, who's gone up quickly now, followed by Perlific under pressure. Spirit of Westbury further out from Native Jazz. Rum is wide. Rain Gage coming into it. So too is Yippee-I-O followed by Big Pat. At the 500, Magneto a half in front of Spirit of Westbury, a length further back is Rum, Rain Gage, Native Jazz, then Yippee-I-O from Big Pat and Matriculate. Magneto on the turn, a half in front of Spirit of Westbury, a length and a half into Native Jazz, and out wider is Rain Gage from Rum. It's Spirit of Westbury hitting the front of the 200. Here's Rain Gage with a run. Rain Gage going up to Spirit of Westbury at the 100 metre mark. Rain Gage takes the lead from Spirit of Westbury, then Rum followed by Big Pat, but Rain Gage coming away, wins two lengths in the run home to Spirit of Westbury. Big Pat has got up to run third. Fourth is either Rum or Yippee-I-O. Further back, Native Jazz. Magneto weakened for the turn from Matriculate. Patfoot, Charlie, Hills. Further back, Friends of Rum. A gap in the race to Big Hustler. Then Prolific, followed by Prince Standard. And Desktop Lover is last of all. Number 16, Rain Gage, $7.10 and $2.20. Second to number 8, Spirit of Westbury, $2.80. Seven, Big Pat, $2.60. 16, working into the race, coming down the side. Number 16 goes in the frame, Rain Gage. Greg Charles. Second place in going to number eight. And that's Spirit of Westbury, written by Damien Oliver. And the third number goes to number seven, Big Pat, written by Peter Mertens. 16, eight and seven. 16, eight, seven after race number six today. Number one is officially fourth, Yippee-I-O. Well, he's raced his way into a calculations for the Melbourne Cup on that win now. Rain Gage sat back third, second last at the uh, 1,200. Improved his position along the back, Greg Charles. Worked into the race. Got a lovely carry into the race at the, about the 600-metre mark. All right, they're about to move in Ascot. Race one, the favourite there is Tignadina. One night to win. A dollar ten the place dead. KY Racing Radio. Correct weight is brought to you by BB Stubbies and your local Hub Mart Hotel. The good times start at Hub Mart. Hub Mart. Some. And about to move in for the Cox Plate. Another look at the board there. Number one, Northerly, 391.50. Two, Silvano, 570.210. Three, Caetano, 63 and 8. Four, Referral, 31.360. Five, King Kaitel, 41.540. Six, Universal Prince, 471.60. Seven, Sunline, favourite, 281.40. Eight, Viscount, 9.20 and 1.90. With the wind pool over $2.5 million now. Selections are 7, 6, 2 and 1. And they're starting to move up. The race being beat. The race being beamed to over 130 countries around the world as the German, German champion Silvano moves into line. Universal Prince about to come forward. Up goes Universal Prince. Sunline about to join the line now. 
Sunline coming up to gate number eight. And they'll be locked away and they're now ready for the running. The line's got their racing. And over on the inside, Viscount jumped out quickly. And here goes Sunline. She's moving forward on the outside and down towards the winning post. Sunline coming over in front. A half length to Viscount and Northerly and Silvano out three wide early at the winning post. Then referral two lengths further back, King Kaitel Kaitano and Universal Prince went back to the tail. At the 1700 metre mark and Charles has taken Sunline to the lead. She's two and a half lengths in front of Viscount. A length and a half to Northerly over on the inside, referral one and a half Silvano. A length then Caetano followed by King Kaitel and two lengths last of all Universal Prince. They file down towards the 1400 metre mark and Sunline. On top by two lengths to Viscount, a length into Northerly. He's nice and handy on the outside of referral. A length further back, Silvano, fifth. Sixth is Caetano. Seventh placing into the back now, King Kaitel. And the last of eight, two lengths away, Universal Prince. Sunline, the leader, going down the back of the Cox Plate. At the 1,000 metre mark, a length and a half to Viscount. Two lengths further back, Northerly, one referral. Then Silvano, about five lengths off the lead, a length and a half, Caetano. Outside it, King Kaitel. And two lengths to Universal Prince, last of all. At the turn of the 8.50 and Sunline, a length and a half in front. From Viscount, two lengths to Northerly, two then Silvano, fourth on the outside of referral, a length and a half, King Kaitel, followed by Caetano, Universal Prince has pulled out at the 600 metre mark and Sunline, three quarters in front from the three-year-old Viscount, a length and a half to Northerly, under the whip and Silvano getting up on the inside, a length further back, Universal Prince, now Charles has gone for home on Sunline, she's a length and a half, Viscount and Silvano getting up on the inside, then Northerly and Universal Prince on the turn, Sunline. Line, a length and a half in front, down to the rail from Silvano. Northerly and further back, Viscount. Sunline at the 200 metre mark, two in front. Northerly after Sunline, down the outside from Viscount. Sunline the leader, Northerly on the outside and Viscount coming at her. Sunline in front, Northerly the outside going to Sunline. They got very tight but Northerly wins the Cox Plate. A half length to Sunline, who is tight and close to the line. Third in the middle is Viscount, a gap further back there in the race to King Kaitel. Then Silvano, you Universal Prince, further back Caetano, and referral is last of all. Number one, Northerly, 390, 150, seven, Sunline, 140, eight, Viscount, two dollars. Number one, Northerly, the Perth champion has taken the Cox Plate from number seven, Sunline, and Viscount, number eight in the middle is third. Let's watch the action up the straight as things get very tight here. Northerly out in the middle, Vicam the Cerise Colours and Sunline back near the rail. And there's a bit of contact coming up here. Sunline throws her head in the air as she has to check. But Northerly goes home too well to win and take the Cox Plate. By about a half length over Sunline and Viscount is third, fourth home. There's number two Silvano ahead of King Kaitel. Here's the head on action. Let's pick it up coming to the turn. It's Sunline, the leader from Viscount. The widest runner is Northerly. In the straight, Sunline in front. Here's Northerly in the blinkers. And back in the Cerise is Viscount. As they're getting close to home, contact made there. With Sunline coming out from the inside and Northerly on the outside. Contact made close to the line. And over the line, it's 1, 7 and 8. Well, this is interesting, she was coming out Sunline, she, she was coming out under pressure and we had Northerly coming in and the great mare had to uh, be checked and her head's gone up in the air but I think she's probably contributed to this a bit herself as she drifted out under pressure as Northerly was getting up to her and the crowd, there's a reaction as she, she was checked but I, I really believe that she might have brought about this uh, a bit of this on her, on, on her own self here Let's go down to Dean. Dean, you got any thoughts here? Yeah, Brian, as you said, she drifted out. She held her line for about 40 metres before the contact started. Uh, I, I would imagine if we had a protest last week, we'll certainly have one this week. Yeah, here's the ground shot. Yeah. Here's the action from the ground here as we see Sunline in front from Northerly and Viscount Silvano weakening back to the inside. And here they are close to the line with plenty of action here as Northerly goes to take the, uh, the plate officially by three quarters of a length with a long neck between second and third, three quarters by a long neck over the line. It's one, seven, eight, two, five, and six. And it's Damien Oliver coming back on the champion from WA Northerly. And again, he was hard ridden about 500 from home, but has responded 
that he clearly is one of the best out of the West. One of the best we've ever Most seen. Perth. Northerly. And in a tough, hard-fought battle, he's been able to take out the Cox Plate, the 80th running. Set Perth. Season around the home turn. Melbourne. Divine he Rhythm straight. Play very well on the outside, the favourite from 8-8. Eight eight. Divine Rhythm straight. Play very well on the outside, the favourite from 8-8s and Bomber Bill. Regal shot away quickly, followed by Mavortree's new key. A point for the back from the Toir. Little days are getting back with keeper. Mastigi came from the outside and led eight eights a half length, a length and a half Regal shot. Mavortree's went up fourth, fifth of the race, new key, a length and a half. Bomber Bill, one for the back, a point. A length for Rico, two to keeper, the inside Little Dozer and the Toir last of all. Through the gap of the 600 metre mark and the leader is Mastigi, about a neck in front from eight eights. Mavortree's a neck away out three deep. Regal shot, waits for the run fourth. Two lengths for the back, new key, followed by a point. Then keeper back to the inside, Little Dozer and then Bomber Bill, the Rico and the Toir. Mastigic is just laying off the fence a little. Regal shot going for the run up on the inside, turning from eight eights. It's Mastigic first for home from Regal shot on the inside. Here's a point out wider and keeper from a mile back. Mastigic in front, Regal shot, a point and Bomber Bill out wide. Mastigic just in front near the line and Mastigic. Mastigic a half length to Regal shot, a head third a point. Bomber Bill has run fourth from keeper right behind them. Then eight eights, a gap of the race and a trial, little days, a new key. Then El Rico and near the tail is Mavortrice. Number 11, Mastigic, 380, $1.50, five regal shot to pay 220 and a three a point at $3.80. Now let's pick up the last part of Maui. Yeah.